Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will learn how to use the Gen Pages experience in Power Apps to create React pages using data from Dataverse or other data sources like SharePoint. We will give the agent some sample designs and see how this agent can connect to a backend data source. The scenarios I'll cover, event calendar and product catalog. So let's begin. The first scenario, I have an events table in Microsoft Dataverse. This stores details about the name of the event, start date, end date, location, category. From a table in Dataverse, we can directly create an app. And this will be a model driven power app that will lead us to the standard model driven app view and form experience. Here is the published version of the app that I'm running. It lists out all the data from my events table. I can sort, filter, search, visualize data and more. However, I would like to build a calendar experience customized, styled and designed. And this should be available as a page within my model driven app. For inspiration, I used Dribble and here is an example of how I would like my events page to look like. Back to our model driven app. Let's go ahead and add a page by describing our page using generative pages. First up, I'll go and attach that image as the design inspiration. Next, I will describe the kind of page I want. Build me a page using the design attached. The data context should come from. I'll go add data. Add my table. Here is the table that's connected in my model driven app called event. I'll add that context. Generate. The app agent begins its magic. Based on the design style that I provided, based on the context of my events table, the app agent will start generating my React page. It builds me a similar looking experience with the data coming from my events table. We are in the preview experience, so we can explore the page right here. I can even search for events. Search for jazz. The jazz festival is coming up on August 8th. I can even filter based on the category of my event. These are the list of upcoming conferences. This page, I'll rename it. I'll call it events calendar view. I can also give it an icon. I can use web resources, any of the existing ones, or I can upload a new web resource. I'll just pick the eye icon. Done. I'll save. That saves the page. I'll publish my model driven power app. Done. I'll go ahead and play this app. Here's my app. Here is my generative page that shows data from my events table. Now let's add more functionality to this. When read more is clicked, open a dialogue to show full details about the event. Also, add options on top right of screen for user to add a new event and edit an existing event that they select in the gallery. The add edit form should fly in from left to right of the screen. I'll hit send. Once again, the app agent starts weaving its magic. You can always take a look at the agent thoughts. These are the requirements that it has understood. Read more dialogue, add edit buttons, and more. 
if the page that it builds out doesn't match your expectations, you can always undo or you can start over from scratch. The app agent has made the updates. Let's click on read more. Here is a dialogue that shows details about that event. I also have the option to add an event. Here is the flyout form. The user can also select an existing event and modify it. Let's publish. Let's refresh our page. Summerfest. Let's update. This one's going to start now on the 11th and end on the 11th. Save. There's the update. Let's try and add a new event. Power Platform Conference. Add. Let's go to October. Here is my event. That's how easily I can build a calendar screen in a model driven app. The most asked question, does this only work for Dataverse? Currently, yes. However, what if I have data in a different data source? For example, a SharePoint list or a SQL table. And I would like to build gen page based on this data. Now, one of the options that I have is to use data flows where I can bring data into Dataverse from a different data source. And that will create a Dataverse table, build out the schema and also import my data. Another option is when I'm building tables, I'll say I want to create a new table. Here, I can start describing my tables to Copilot or import from a SharePoint list, Excel file, CSV file. I have a lot of options to bring data into Dataverse. But let's say in this scenario, I have a product catalog list that is maintained in SharePoint. I want to keep my data in SharePoint, but I still want to build a Dataverse table that understands this schema and allows me to build a model driven app so I can create gen pages. Let's see how we can do that. Back to tables in Dataverse, I'll go and create a new table and I'll pick the option, create a virtual table. A virtual table is one where the data lives in your data source and you can see there are various options here sharepoint sql snowflake and more in dataverse it will create the schema it will query your underlying data source to bring the data so let's try it with sharepoint i'll pick my sharepoint connection and click next put my sharepoint site url select my sharepoint site next and here is my product catalog list. I'll say next. This now brings me to the configuration screen. Here I can update the name of the table that it would be creating in Dataverse. It goes ahead and maps out my different columns from my SharePoint list. I'll keep the mapping as is. Next, finish. Now it starts creating my virtual table. Schema in Dataverse, the actual data in SharePoint. Plus, I will be able to perform full CRUD operations. It creates my virtual table, and you can see it's bringing in the data from my SharePoint list. Now, let's go ahead and build an app. I'm calling this model driven app product catalog app. I'll click create. And the magic begins where it will create an app based upon the data model of my virtual table. I am here to build a gen page that can display my product catalog. Here is an inspiration of a design, and I would like to build my product catalog in this style. Let's add a page. 
let's describe the page let's give some context i'll add that design i've said build me a page based on the attached catalog design data context will come from i'll add the table here is my virtual table called product catalog i'll click generate and the gen page has tried to build me a page similar to the design i shared but based on the data context that i provided which is data coming from my virtual table product catalog connected to a sharepoint list here it lists out all the products from my sharepoint list and it shows data for all the categories on the left i have the option to filter based on a particular category the category i selected electronics let's also pick automotive show me data in this specific price range i can also add a product i can click on more details to see the full details about that product i can also select and edit an existing product all of this create read update delete actions will be against my data source in this case sharepoint list in my sharepoint site i create a page i'll call it product catalog here i can add a web part the microsoft power apps one only allows canvas apps for model driven if i go to embed i can add embed code here i need to add the iframe code i'll add the code as follows iframe source equal to the url of my model driven app with height now notice when i do this it says embedding content from this website isn't allowed that's because we need to add this url to the list of sites that are allowed i'll go to the settings gear site information view all site settings html field security in the allowed iframes from this domain i'll put that url add here it is in the allowed list okay done go back to my product catalog page this time when i put that iframe code it works i'll publish here is my model driven app gen page which is that product catalog page inside a sharepoint page if you enjoyed this video then do like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching